long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. You like me because I'm a scoundrel. There aren't enough scoundrels in your life. I happen to like nice men. Collider announced a so-called exclusive story about the Acolyte being released on Disney Plus this summer. Uh, let me explain uh, this to you guys so you understand it. If this was a real story, this would have gone into Variety or um, The Hollywood Reporter or Deadline. It would have been exclusive to the official Hollywood rags. So why would they pick Collider? Uh, they don't want Hollywood's eyes on this thing. Uh, it's, it's such an enigma, and it's such a, a, a from what I gather uh, from Sparrow through, through Cameron, that it is such a, a dumpster fire to begin with that John Favreau has, has completely washed his hands of it. They've sent it overseas to Lucasfilms, animation studios, and uh, special effects studios to work on. He doesn't want anything to do with it. Now, why did Bob Iger uh, announce it? Well, look, there are lots of reasons. One of the reasons I think he did it was because he wanted to keep Kennedy's uh, backers, Headland's backers, for this office back, and there, there are a lot of good reasons for this. Thirdly, um, you know, they don't, they have a sh something. How much of something, I don't know. Apparently, uh, Favreau had done some fill-in shots for the thing to make it kind of coherent, and when they were done with it, he basically said it was the worst, uh, fan film he's ever seen. Uh, Carrie Ann Moss definitely has filmed something for this, I'm pretty sure. But these are just something. I mean, look at this. This is just one of the actresses. These are terrible costumes. Uh, the money that Hedlund did manage to get from obviously shady people uh, really didn't amount to enough to make them... Uh, a show worthy of Star Wars. Again, uh, we were told that, yes, wardrobe had been checked out. Uh, we did get hits of something being filmed in the Azores. Uh, beautiful islands off of Portugal, by the way. And, you know, we don't know what is, is happening with this. And, of course, poor Jonas Suetomo, who plays Chewbacca, is another Wookiee in this. I mean, this is a terrible costume. This is, I mean, this is atrocious. Just by looking at these photographs, you can tell that this is a show that is not going to do well, just just by the viewers. Um, but there's other things. There's a, a non-binary uh, tranny in it that apparently during the lockdown worked for MI6, uh, which is why, you know, which is weird. Um, again, here's Leslie Hedlund pretending she's actually directing uh, Lee Jung Jai and the non-binary black girl, who is binary, by the way, she's a girl, um, what looks like to be Galaxy's Edge. Uh, you know, they're in street clothes. So if they're being directed, it's obviously a, uh, 
uh, non-costume. Please don't mind Kojak's barking. Um, it's obviously a rehearsal, uh, probably at Galaxy's Edge, or it's a PR picture. Headland had taken so she could pretend this is going to be bigger than it, than it is. Um, again, there was a sizzle reel at Celebration, okay? That's it. And what, we, what we've been told is that the Acolyte's more than a sizzle reel, but it's not a full TV show. There have been, there has been more filming to make it coherent. I don't know what they're going to do with it. Uh, they keep saying that it's going to show up on Disney Plus on the, uh, the sometime this coming summer. Um, what I think it's going to be is probably either, either just a pilot and then it'll die or it'll be a couple of shows. Like what they'll do is they'll do a two-part movie and dump it all in the same time and then bury it. You know, and my suggestion is to remove all references to Star Wars. Okay, but of course you've got a Wookiee in there. That might be difficult. <clears throat> but still, what are the uh, possibilities for this? I thought one just drew a pentagram on the floor and chanted, I summon thee three times. <laughs> Fuck you. War. <laughs> Urinal cakes? Believe this. All these years, the doyenne of Seattle's elite, looking down her nose at everyone in sight, she owes it all to this. She's managed to have her urinal cake and eat it too. <laughs> and I think we now have what's known in the legal profession as a bargaining chip. Oh, are you kidding? She'd give any. Hello, Marta. I'd like to speak to Maris. Oh, why not? Ah. She's in the final level of her guru's serenity training, the week-long vow of silence, day six. No, 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 Marta, that's all right. She doesn't have to come to the phone. Just give her this message. I've flushed out her family secret. <laughs> Hello, Maris. I can't believe this. You're actually kicking me out? Do you want me to draw you a picture? <laughs> We'd be here all night! Get out! <laughs> so, they could, they could do the, the, those things. They could either put it out as a two-part movie or as, as just a pilot, bury it on Disney+, Plus because no one's going to watch it. I mean, it's, it's not even going to go away, go the way of the uh, uh, Star Wars holiday special. Um... You know, and all the rumors are you going to kill the force and won't this upset everything Favreau wants to do? It's attached to the High Republic. The High Republic is not canon. All right. In fact, I look to speculate here that the High Republic is probably going to be discontinued because it's stupid. Okay. If they're not making any money off it. And... When you look, when you go to bookscan.com and you see what people have, what they've lost with this, it's, it's horrendous. They're not selling any books. What does it do for Kennedy? Well, it, look, if John Favreau said this is the worst fan film he's ever seen, this makes Kennedy look worse. Okay. Um, and also, here's another thing concerning Favreau. If Kathleen Kennedy is still running Lucasfilm, how come it was John Favreau speaking for Lucasfilm on the death of Carl Weathers? Okay, that might not mean anything. That might mean a lot. Who knows? But it was something that a friend of mine uh, noticed, and I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. Hmm, must say something about that. But 
The Acolyte, look, the backers for the Acolyte are very, all I can say is I wouldn't make a deal with any of those people. You know, there are questions about, you know, why would Leslie Havland hire basically an MI6 operative to be in the Acolyte if, you know, um, and it's it's a little bit more, uh, it's even darker than when uh, former mob boss Capo de Regime, uh, Michael Franzis, uh, made movies in Hollywood, all right? He made horror movies. Why? They were cheap to make. You make a lot of money, and there you go, okay? Uh, that's, and it's a good way to, to launder money. Okay, so why, do they, why would these people, you know, want to be part of this? Probably for the same reasons, but they're not even... They're, they're, it's, it's worse than if they were mob bosses. All right. What does Bob Iger do? Bob Iger just says, John, do whatever you can. And whatever is the most, or the, whatever is the less egregious cut, we will do. Again, my suggestion is to cut any reference to Star Wars out of it. Okay. Any reference to Star Wars out of it. And, uh, then go on because there's no reason to admit it's even part of, of the franchise. And really, you know, some people I brought up and I thought it was a good, uh, a good thing to remark on. What does this do to all the good they're trying to, uh, accomplish with basically fixing what Kennedy broke? Now here, here's the thing about the acolyte. I think it was Knights of the Old Republic and Darth Treya, and this was supposedly took place thousands of years before the Battle of Yavin, uh, wanted to kill the Force. Okay. They basically bought, borrowed that story. The rumors are. Um, and, you know, you can go, that's really stupid. First off, it's already been done in a game. Better, by by the way, probably. And, um, you know, they don't, it, it doesn't make any sense. But again, if it is part of the acolyte that some angry uh, Sith apprentice decides to go off and try to kill the force itself, which is killing basically life itself, um, it's, a, it's a comment, I think, uh, by, by Leslie Hedlund about how she really feels about George Lucas and the world he created. Um, you know, I tried to do research on her, um, really get, get some in-depth stuff about her, and it's very difficult. Uh, there's, there's really nothing in on the Internet about her, um, which is interesting. I think it's probably wise of her not to have a lot about her bio on the internet because of the people that she made a deal with to get the money, whatever small amounts of money they gave her for the acolyte. Okay. Now, again, what are they going to do with this, this show? They could do several things. And one of them is remove all references to Star Wars when they drop it. And I would say that that would go into probably cutting every part that Jonas Suotomo was in, okay? And do something with the lightsabers that, do, that don't make them look like lightsabers. You know, every reference means every reference. Or they can make damn sure Kathy Kennedy's name and Leslie Hedlund's name are on this and that John and Dave and everybody else are not part of it or even mentioned, all right? Um... And then bury it on Disney Plus, never to be seen again, and then quietly remove it a month later. All right, like they did with Willow. Uh, these are my my suggestions, but as far as it being released this summer, you know, Iger mentioned it. We know there's 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 uh, 
impossible uh, fixes to this thing because it was terrible right out of the box. Uh, what Headland has shot was just probably absolute garbage. Um, so we'll have to see, all right? You know, and there are questions. Why is a an MI6 operative, non-binary tranny, why was he hired? And don't sit there and say for uh, representation, all right? You already have your your so-called fake non-binary black chick in it, okay? So it's an interesting conundrum. I suggest to the Dunning-Kruger brothers uh, that they go ahead and, and dig more, but I'm not going to. Uh, it doesn't do me any good to waste any time on it. So good luck with that. And this is Steph signing out. I'll see you around the galaxy.